If you could choose only one food for the rest of your life, what food would you choose? I would say... We all know, Malaysia is a food lover's paradise and we are able to enjoy the diversity of delectable foods that can be found anywhere and anytime. And today, we are heading down the street to talk about something we all love, food. If you could choose only one food for the rest of your life, what food would you choose? So among all these foods, if you have to pick just one food that you couldn't live without, what would it be? Mm. Oh, definitely chicken rice because it's the first food that appears in my mind whenever I'm busy. I would say roti canai and I just actually tap out for my kids as well. <laughs> nasi lemak, nasi lemak. Nasi lemak the best. Chao kuih lah. Ni ne? Di si wan ma? Si wan, you got me. That's my weakness also. But considering your own health and also your family's, would you say this is a good choice after all? Me yo la. Mu kan chan chan chu. Ni wei yu hen yu ni a. Not really, no. Not for my parents especially, yeah. Mm, definitely not. <laughs> Uh, anak saya selalu komplain Saya suka makan makan berminyak Bukan pilihan yang baik So, take a guess What is the biggest impact of this oily food on your body? Uh, maybe like fatty organs and uh, high cholesterol? Um, I would say uh, accumulation of fat inside our body Causes overweight and high cholesterol uh, Boleh mengakibatkan sakit jantung Dan juga high cholesterol Pakau tang kucona did you know there are two kinds of cholesterols? The good one, HDL, and LDL, the not so good one, which can be often found forming plates in our blood vessels. To make sure a healthy level of cholesterol, we usually maintain a healthy lifestyle. So, what is your everyday practice to improve your cholesterol? So far, saya sudah berhenti merokok untuk sihat yang lebih baik. Oh, you in the house, you can do it, you can do it, you can I actually started to pay attention to my BMI and I also ensure that my both, both my family and I have a healthy lifestyle. Mm, uh, oh, I've swapped my snacks to like a healthier option so that I can reduce uh, oily food intake and also saturated fats. Wow, looks like you know how to make changes to improve your cholesterol level. Let me ask you, do you think we can enjoy all these foods while maintaining a healthy level of cholesterol? Yes, you can. Have you ever heard of soy lecithin? Oh yes, I've known about this when I was doing research for my parents. No, not really. Is it another type of soy product? Sesuai untuk kekalkan kadar kolesterol yang sihat? Ya, 我有听说过. 吃素的人也很适合。对我这个年龄也是很好. So soy lecithin just like a traffic control for fats in your body. It emulsifies the fats and help it flows more smoothly in your blood streams and improve the blood circulation. Not only that, soy lecithin ends the vitamin E to improve your skin. So if you can't resist digging into some nasi lama, chao kuai tiu every now and then, this can help us to achieve balanced diet. Thank you for your time and also valuable insight. Remember, we can enjoy our flavor food, but most importantly, we need to know how to achieve balance through healthy diet, active lifestyle, and supplements to help fill the nutrition gap.